All right, get the camera where it needs to be. Uh, working on the mud truck. Got that piece cut. Um, yeah, safety glasses. Always, always, always. I was cutting that piece with the uh, four-inch angle grinder and a cutoff wheel, uh, thirty thousandths cutoff wheel, and it kicked the spark up. I was wearing my uh, denim apron, and it kicked the spark up. Shot under my safety glasses and into my eye. I wasn't wearing a face shield. I should have been. Um, but my face shield is MIA. I guess the guy I let borrow it last up the street didn't bring it back before he moved. So I took my old uh, welding visor helmet and uh, flipped the, the glass up so I could use that as a face shield. Um, but I've got this piece here. Um, it's on. It's tacked. I had the the welder a little hot to start with. It's been a while since I've welded on thin sheet metal. Most of the stuff I'm doing these days is minimum of uh, eighth inch thick. So I've got a few spots I gotta go back in and fill in. But I like these clamps. I bought these probably four or five years ago, and this is the first time I've used them. Um, right there's my magnets, and that's probably where they're gonna stay till they go to trash. I just bought cheap ones. Don't buy cheap, cheap material, cheap tools. Um, <clears throat> I got it cut. Made a mistake though. I cut it straight, and whoever cut it off, I'm not sure who did it because it's had so many owners. Um, but this all, all this down here was fiberglass, where the cab corner should have been. It was all fiberglass, so they wanted to steal back in. But whoever cut it off before they got to it. Um, didn't cut it straight and I couldn't reach around short little arms of mine and scribe an accurate line while holding it steady so I got a good spot here and I got a good spot down at the far end and then I in between there they were wobbly I, I was spot on or as close as it gets for an amateur but got this matched up still a little warm um, this is matched up nice around to here I'm still gonna have to trim this so I just tacked it in place so I can get these out of the way um, granted they're a heat sink to a point but they're also in the way so I got I want to get another tack in as close as I can to where they're at to hold the position because it's straight there's no no real wave to it this way so I want to do that um, yeah I really like these clamps they're they're kind of difficult to put on by yourself but I got it done I started here and just went around yeah that one's kind of warm because I just welded right here that one's still holding heat that one's not eh, a little bit but yeah they do and since I don't have any real good place to catch the clamp the ground clamp I'm just using that right there because I got good clean metal contacting that uh, clamp there so that'll be the last one I take off so there's where we're at uh, this has been in about I'll be honest with you I've only probably worked on it for a half hour we had some city utility guys show up they're gonna do some smoke testing of the new sewer lines well new they're about three years old now two years old but uh, yeah so I had to stop and chat with them they're interested in what's going on around here um, nosy but that's all right one of them wants me to do some work for him but I told him I've got to get other stuff caught up first and I'll get that that right there's got me bugged but it's an, it's not a huge deal but it does have me bugged <clears throat> I don't know if I can I don't know if I'm going to be able to pound that around or not. If I could, I'd like to just, I'd love to just buzz that lip off and pound it around, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that sharp crease into it that it needs, so I'll probably just cut it and slice it a little bit and bring it in. So there we go, folks. Progress. A um, little bit of time. 
a little bit of planning. So this gap right here is just about perfect for, for the welder I've got. Um, but this up here, I'm going to have to take more time and finesse it in. So not a biggie. Not, not now. Just had to remember where my settings were on the welder. Still using the cheap little Century welder. Um, do have the uh, Argon 2575 Argon carbon dioxide. Need to set the wire speed faster and the voltage lower than what I remembered. But this is a different sheet metal than I was doing on the Chevelle, so I think it'll be. I think it'll be alright. So, and we didn't have to mess with all the body lines up here. Um, I'm going to reinforce it where the back of the, the inner cab meets right there. I'm going to get on the inside and I'm going to put a piece of 3 16 angle iron in there. Similar to that one. And then I'm just going to weld down to it. So, I don't know why we cut off clear over there, not we, they cut off clear over there, but we'll fix it alright guys, there it is uh, like I said it's Monday, ooh, bright light so I'm going to have to wrap things up out here and get myself headed to work an 8 hour shift I won't know what to do it'll be like clock in, clock out you know, at least 10, 12 whatever so today ought to be a treat yeah all right everybody have a good safe day um for those of you that are wondering yeah with this channel i'm probably going to bounce back and forth because this kind of stuff ties in with the the uh the prep stuff and some of you won't like it but i'll label the videos for for what they are um I'll be honest with you, this right here would make a, a good bug out vehicle when it's done because it doesn't have all the electronics and all that. It's it's bare bones basic, but yet it's it's rugged. It's going to be rugged. I mean, he's got straight axles. He's got uh, the good transmission. Um, he's got rock solid engine for it. It's not one that I built, um, but still should be good quality uh, another local guy that's done a lot of racing is doing it for him so ought to be good ought to be some good stuff I'd like to get the tires off of it from my Suburban I can tell you that might have a deal going on we'll have to wait and see alright guys have a good day